graduate school, my advisor decides I need to go to a small conference in Japan to talk about my research because another uh, scientist over there is competing with us. We want to make sure we, they know what's what and then what we're doing over there and kind of just mark our territory off. So I land at Narita Airport, I get on the subway, and I go to the outskirts of Tokyo, and I get a yeah. cab, and I say, I need to go to the National Institute of Polar Research. Kind of like, like, well, it's a big science research institute, it's really close by around here, so I think I go. We drive out there, you drop me off, sure enough, he gets the place right. I go up, you know, 23 years old, to the director of this institute, and introduce myself, because they're putting me up in the Thank you very much. And we say, why don't you come out to dinner with us? He said, that was really generous of you guys. So we start wandering through the streets of Tokyo. We take a left turn, a right turn, a right turn, a left turn, and get to this great little sushi restaurant. We sit down, we start eating, and look up, and there's all these bottles of sake in the hall. What's the difference between all these different brands of sake? <laughs> he says, well, let me show you. Right? So he starts, he takes like five or six bottles of sake, and we proceed to drink the night away. And I'm thinking, well, these guys are really great folks. So we finally finish our dinner, I get up, I can barely stand, and we walk out and they say, hey, we're going to hop on the subway right here, we're going to head home. You remember how to get back to the institute, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, right turn, left turn, left turn, right turn, left turn, left turn, right? Like, yeah, you got it. <laughs> now, they don't have addresses in Japan. It's the greatest thing, but you have to know the directions from some major landmark to get where you want to go. So it's like 9 o'clock at night, and I start stumbling through this neighborhood, this quiet, dark neighborhood in Tokyo. And I walk for an hour, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure I should have been back at the Institute by now. <laughs> I walk for another hour, and I'm like, uh, I really don't know where I am. But I've really wasted it, and I have no idea where this Institute is. It gets to be midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, and I said, I'm just going to walk all night long. I'm going to sober up, and then I'm going to wait till the cab stand opens up, and I'm going to try to find that guy who knew I'd get here in the first So it gets to be about 3 in the morning. I finally stumble into the street. I'm just, at this point, lost all hope. And I look up, and there is the National Institute. Polar research. Oh, thank God. Now I can go home with this. So, why do you sing the song with me? 99 bottles of sake on the wall. 99 bottles of sake. You take one down and pass it around. And then you can't find the National Institute of Polar Research. <laughs> I'm sorry, yes. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah, really, your brain doesn't work right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Black grape. We need to catalog it. Okay. <laughs> what color would you say this ice is? Uh, yellow. <laughs>
snarling at your car. Yeah. <laughs> well, someone doesn't know how to shuffle very well, eh, Bob? <laughs> you got burned. You know, Lisa, you invited me on this exciting large game hunt. <laughs> I was playing cards right now. How do you ruin everything that's exciting? <laughs> Thank you. 
but y'all are. Thank <laughs> you. 
But, but surely, surely driving here through St. Petersburg, nothing will fall out of the sky. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs>
JPL, not Drupal. <laughs> <laughs> Google Drupal is go. <laughs> JPL. JPL. Yeah, the first rule of Drupal is don't <laughs> talk about the asteroid that's going to hit the Earth. There's an asteroid going to hit the Earth, we can't tell anyone about it. What is that other shot of sookie? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Disney kids, and we've made it to Anaheim, we we're almost in Disneyland, but the car is exploding. We need to turn around and go back to Tucson to get a new car, and then we'll try and come over here again. Cool. Yeah. <laughs>